Hey everybody, Bill in Virginia. And this episode is going to be mostly running trains, both on the HO and N scale layout. Uh, just have some fun doing some operation this time around. Real quick, let's jump over to Alta. I uh, have the scenery part pretty well finished on the town now. Spent uh, last evening adding a little bit more uh, black top in and around the little church and uh, scenic around it. Got uh, more done around these houses, added a few more trees, kind of killed, even though it's kind of hard to see, the uh, sheen on the roofs. I did use some flat clear on that, just the uh, angle for the lighting. I stepped back a little bit and the sheen is pretty well gone. Still have not painted the vehicles. I will uh, do that uh, evenings this week. I still have to do the uh, buildings, uh, paint detail inside, put view blocks, all that kind of stuff. That'll all come later. Over on this side, the old abandoned gas station, I've still got to add some details, but I do have the ground cover pretty much in place that I want. Uh, still got to paint the truck, but uh, again, the uh, Overall scenery piece is complete for the city of Alta. Just uh, detailing and buildings. So a little bit more fun to do on those. All right, let's start to jump in and run some trains. So just a quick tip before we get into uh, running some trains. Been uh, doing more work over on Alta. I've been starting to look at the little cars that I put together from the kits. Uh, you know, basically, you glue the wheels on and then uh, paint and uh, paint, <laughs> and it's ready to go. So, I've been starting to do that, and uh, I found a good use for chopsticks. So, if you're eating Chinese and a lot of uh, the restaurants for takeout, they will toss these in. Now, I actually can use these. I lived and worked in China for two years, so these Kwaidza uh, chopsticks have a good purpose. Uh, and I'll show you uh, what you can do with these that can help paint those. All right, about 10 seconds has elapsed since the last video. So, taking the uh, chopsticks apart, doing two pieces of blue painter's tape. One with the sticky side out on top, and you get a very useful paint stick. I will uh, give this a quick shot and uh, show you what it looks like. So it makes it uh, for some fairly short work here. This is wet. It will uh, dry much more smooth than what we have on this. Here are a couple of them that I've already done. They uh, turned out pretty well. And then a uh, useful uh, purpose for a uh, pop can, soda can, beer can, <laughs> sparkling water can, whatever you've got. Uh, the opening holds the sticks in place. If you leave that little tab in, it actually helps uh, hold the sticks upright too. So just a quick tip, something uh, that you can use on your layouts as you're doing your modeling. Well, there we go. We've got a uh, automobile on a stick. Turns out pretty decent doing it this way. The stick definitely helps. So, on to other things. So as I have the trains running, let's take a look at how this scene looks when I've got my backdrop in place. 
Uh, you've seen the trains there, you know, right next to the HO scale layout. I'll tell you what a difference a backdrop makes. Backdrops are all about fooling the eye, and they're very effective in any scale. Backdrop goes away, and there's the benchwork on the HO scale phase. Huge difference. 